you are not able to sleep well in the night sometimes you are anxious feeling low and unable to put your thoughts and mind together your periods are becoming lighter and lighter irregular and often do not show up at times as if this was not enough bloating and acidity have become the norm of how you feel inside your belly what's going on well all of these are signs of low estrogen levels in your body you shouldn't ignore them but act on them immediately this is because low estrogen symptoms indicate hormone imbalances that have progressed a little bit too far your body isn't able to handle this poor state of health anymore and it is giving you signs to improve your diet your lifestyle and how you carry yourself around so how to do that how to know that your body is undergoing low estrogen levels and what can you do about it well that's what this video is about hi this is nidhi bansal from media herbals we help women to gain health with the holistic and natural principles of ayurveda and in this video i will share with you ayurvedic natural ways to improve the levels of estrogen in your body and start putting your hormones back to balance we will go through what exactly leads to low estrogen symptoms in your body what are those symptoms and what can you do about it in terms of changes in your diet and lifestyle that you can practice to start finding relief so let's get started let's first look into the causes of low estrogen levels in your body because if you know the causes then you can remove them consciously and take steps that will help your health and help you to boost your estrogen levels naturally to find relief let's see what these are estrogen is normally produced in your body during the regular menstrual cycle that's why when your menstrual cycle goes haywire or you are entering the perimenopausal phase then you will experience low levels of estrogen estrogen levels naturally go down when women enter the perimenopausal stage and it starts as earlier as 35 years of age your hormones start getting affected estrogen and progesterone levels start going down but in a slow manner it doesn't happen in one day but over a period of 10 to 15 years and there are natural mechanisms in your body to take care of the estrogen levels which are going down it starts to ramp up estrogen supply from other sources but the problem happens when the other sources of estrogen during this perimenopausal stage are not functioning well so that they are not able to get started whenever they are needed you know but for women who are in their reproductive years low levels of estrogen can be caused by a number of other factors which also affect their menstrual cycle let's look into those factors So regular production of estrogen levels in your body can be affected by other hormonal imbalances such as high levels of stress which results into high levels of cortisol in your body. Whether you are undertaking excessive physical activity or you are going through an event which has put your body and mind in a stressful situation such that you had not anticipated the change then your body starts to handle that event first. it puts rest of the body functions such as your digestion your menstrual cycle or your reproductive function and any other growth function onto a halt and puts all the resources to handle that stressful situations first that's why whenever you are undergoing any kind of events such as exams for children interview or any big lifetime event or even travel which may change your normal diet and lifestyle then the cortisol levels in your body rise and when it happens it pushes down the level of estrogen and progesterone in your body so if it happens one time let's say it's a one time event then that menstrual cycle may get delayed but if that stress is chronic then what is really happening is that cortisol levels are staying high on a chronic level and as a result of that estrogen and progesterone are staying down and eventually your cycle start becoming lighter and lighter because you don't have enough reproductive hormones to build up that uterine layer and if you still do not address the cause of your stress and hence improve your body's ability to handle its normal functions such as the reproductive function then you may be experiencing loss of periods or absent periods this happens quite frequently in lean pcos type as well stress or poor adrenal function results into absent periods or irregular periods 
Now the second thing that can lead to low estrogen levels in your body is nutritional deficiency. As I said earlier, often the symptoms of nutritional deficiency also overlap with a lot of hormonal deficiencies in your body because these nutrients are the building blocks of the hormones. So when you have poor fat profile, let's say high level of cholesterol, which is the key building block of the hormones, low levels of protein in your body, low level of iron, vitamin D, magnesium, calcium, zinc, selenium, which are actually important micronutrients and macronutrients to create and also help your hormones to communicate then you will start experiencing low levels of your hormones or may also low quality of your hormones such that even though you have sufficient amount of hormones they are not able to function well such kind of results may not be reflected in the test reports you may get good level of hormone but the problem actually is that they are not able to communicate they are not able to function so you really need to address and keep a note of the signs low hormonal symptoms and when you pay attention to these signs by removing the cause and by improving your diet and lifestyle then you give your body a chance to actually balance your hormones naturally another cause of low estrogen levels in your body could also be due to high amount of belly fat or obesity both of these are the reason of poor fat profile of high levels of cholesterol in your body as i said cholesterol is the building block of hormones when you have high levels of ldl and triglycerides then your body is not getting sufficient raw material to build good quality hormones and thus it results into low estrogen symptoms some other reasons that lead to low estrogen levels in your body are all related to poor functioning of your liver or your kidneys or your ovaries or the reproductive system which are all interconnected by the way once one organ is affected due to either the nutritional deficiencies which happen due to poor diet and lifestyle or due to excessive stress then it leads to poor functioning of another organ and it starts a vicious cycle in which your body keeps on suffering from one end to other and you are not getting a chance to recover from this mess even though estrogen is produced during your regular menstrual cycle more and more women are getting affected by low estrogen levels it's not just limited to perimenopausal phase which was the most common uh, age when you start experiencing low estrogen levels in fact even teens when they start menstruating they are experiencing low estrogen levels it can also affect you during your reproductive years thus leading to low levels of your fertility poor mood problems with normal growth function your digestion poor bone profile the quality of your hair skin are affected this is because estrogen really controls important body functions such as your nervous function your metabolism your reproductive function your fat profile and many others which are actually related to one another so here are some of the symptoms of low estrogen levels in your body as i said a lot of these symptoms also overlap with health conditions which may still be in a hiding level or this may also overlap with some of the nutritional deficiencies simply because all of the things are related in your body you cannot just mark estrogen you have to work on overall functioning of your body to improve your health and to start seeing the results some of the symptoms of low estrogen levels are listed in here they are related to poor functioning of your menstrual cycle as we just discussed poor mental wellness fertility issues issues with your vision with your bones with the quality of your hair of your skin brain fog poor mood irritability poor metabolism and in fact high amounts of cholesterol it's a vicious cycle as we just saw so what can you do to boost your estrogen levels naturally let's look into the diet and lifestyle factors in here so first we'll start with the dietary factors of charting out the foods that you should be eating on regular basis so some of these foods are number 1 phytoestrogens these are plant based estrogen these are basically the estrogen in the plants they mimic the structure of our own estrogen but their functioning in our body is different they are not as strong as our body's estrogen and they also actually help to regulate the amount of estrogen so if your body has estrogen dominance or any kind of estrogen imbalance whether low or high it balances it out 
so this is the beauty of phytoestrogen they don't really act in isolation they don't just ramp up your body's estrogen levels but they actually help to modulate the amount of estrogen in your body and also to improve the functioning of estrogen in your body and the second thing which you need to eat are the healthy fats as we just saw fats are the building blocks of the estrogen and all other hormones in your body so when you are taking in healthy fats you are giving your body the right building blocks which it will use to make good quality hormones in your body third thing which you need to eat are the range of minerals such as zinc selenium and magnesium which are all required in different levels of either production or functioning of the hormones including estrogen Here is a list of the food sources to include these minerals in ample amount to your diet itself. Another thing that you need to do is to remove some of the poor food choices which are actually blocking the functioning of estrogen in your body and these are the highly processed foods which your body doesn't recognize on how to metabolize or what to do with them they just create unnecessary toxins and inflammation in your body which affects the rest of the functions including your reproductive function and your hormonal levels basically when you have high levels of inflammation in your body as a result of poor or diet and lifestyle choices then your body is actually in a fighting mode it is fighting out the internal problems so it's not able to allocate resources for the normal functioning such as your digestion the creation of your hormones and your functioning of your brain and rest of the growth functions including your hair your nails your skin and any other thing which requires regular maintenance now let's look into some of the lifestyle factors that will help you to improve the levels of estrogen and also to improve the functioning of estrogen in your body so number 1 is to remove stress as we saw is one of the cause of low functioning of estrogen and low levels of estrogen in your body so when you start to remove the stresses in your life then you also will start seeing the results in your hormonal function some of the things that you can do to find relief from high levels of stress or to manage stress are listed in here regularly practice relaxation activities go out in nature spend time on the things that you love to do with your loved ones on the hobbies that you would like to pursue or the things that you would like to do something that you have ever wanted to do and it gives you immense joy practice mindfulness meditate regularly or carry out breathing exercises which will help you to relax and calm down so the second thing that you need to do in terms of your lifestyle changes to manage estrogen levels is to also manage your blood sugar levels often women who are going through low estrogen levels also experience low blood sugar episodes in which their blood sugar levels are highly imbalanced you are not able to handle those situations in which you can go hungry for a long time so you need to keep something with you all the time in the form of healthy snacks which you can nibble on if your blood sugar levels are going down you also need to take in satiating and sufficient amount of meals in one time in one sitting such that your blood sugar levels are balanced stay away from stimulants such as caffeine alcohol and smoking which can put your blood sugar levels to a spin and you should take in healthy fats and good amount of proteins in your diet which will keep your blood sugar levels balanced so these are the natural and whole foods rather than the protein shakes or any kind of processed foods because they create a lot of imbalances in your body immediately or in long term manner The third thing in terms of lifestyle that you need to do is to get sufficient sleep and to get sufficient rest because you have low estrogen levels in your body thus your metabolism is also affected you are not getting sufficient energy in your body which can keep you tired it can also affect your ability to sleep so you need to start regulating your sleep slowly make sure that you clock in 6 to 8 hours of sleep every night on a regular basis you will start seeing the results in a very short amount of time in a manner of 2 or 3 days itself and the fourth thing that you need to do in terms of your lifestyle is to practice exercise but moderately 
if you are currently doing excessive exercise and also experiencing symptoms of low estrogen then that's a sign that you need to stop the excessive exercise it's also one of the most prominent reasons for people to experience excess stress and as a result low estrogen levels so start moderating your exercise and also start including different types of exercise such as yoga tai chi walking hiking swimming or playing recreational sports which will help you to calm down and give positive stimulus to your body rather than stressing it out so that was all i hope you found it useful and you will start practicing these diet and lifestyle tips as soon as possible because what you really need is action not just information so start today and do write to me if you have any questions comments and suggestions i'll get back to you the soonest i will see you soon until then bye bye